Hello all, this is Glenn Avery with your GroupTrails.com Tech Minute. Often in internet cafes I'm asked, Hey dude, what's that tab in software you're working with? Well first I'm like, dude, get off my shoulder. Then I tell them it's Microsoft OneNote and charge them a pumpkin muffin for a brief tutorial much like the one I'm about to show you here today for free. So what is Microsoft OneNote? Microsoft OneNote is a robust note taking and note organizing tool that allows you to group all of your ideas and all of your notes into one location into one note. It's a mixture of Microsoft Word, Excel, Microsoft Project and more. I'm always amazed by the lack of awareness of Microsoft OneNote because it is as I feel Microsoft's most significant creation since Microsoft Word. Just toying around with Microsoft OneNote can accidentally make you more efficient. So let's go ahead and open up Microsoft OneNote. You see in the upper left hand corner I have the shortcut by which you open up Microsoft OneNote. And on the right side is a shortcut for OneNote's feature called SideNote, which is a feature you'll learn about later. But in this case we're going to go ahead and open up OneNote using the Shift, Windows key and N, and OneNote pops up. And what I want you to think about OneNote as, see it as a three ring binder that never runs out of space. Just like your college three ring binders, you had different notebooks with different subjects inside the binder. Uh, so it is with OneNote. You have different subjects called notebooks that you align along the left side of the screen and you have different views for those notebooks. But I'll take the uh, condensed view. And in each notebook you have, subs you have sections. And in each section you have an unlimited amount of pages you can create for each section which makes Microsoft OneNote extremely powerful when it comes to note taking and capacity. Okay let's look at some of the key features of Microsoft OneNote. Uh, the first thing I like to mention is that unlike Microsoft Word's linear restrictions in Microsoft OneNote you can basically type and leave files, leave content anywhere. Uh, like if I wanted to type over here I can type over here If I wanted to drag a file from, say, a contract from one of my folders into OneNote just so I have it uh, readily available, I can do that. Drag it right in. And you'll notice that Microsoft OneNote gives you the option of you can insert a link uh, back to the original file. You can actually paste or copy the file onto this page uh, where you can actually open the, the literal file. It's embedded in this page. Or you can actually insert the file as a printout whereas if it was Microsoft or Microsoft Word document it will actually open up the whole document in this one page so you can read it and make notations to that particular uh, page. In this case I'm going to actually insert the file so that I have it right there and I can insert any type of file whether it be PowerPoint, an Excel file, uh, PDF, uh, Photoshop file, InDesign file, any file type uh, I can embed within any page with inside of OneNote uh, which is an awesome thing uh, that means there's no more looking around for your files everything is in one location ready for you to access and put into your uh, plan as I mentioned I want you to see Microsoft OneNote much like a three ring binder uh, on the left side you have the notebooks and you'll see on my page I have four notebooks and in each of those notebooks you have at the top along the top you have sections this is my notebook that I call my training notebook and above you have my sections on all the subjects I like to learn about just to become a little more geeky uh, and on the right side you have uh, pages that you can create under each section you can create an enormous amount of pages under each section and that's what makes Microsoft OneNote so special is that you never really run out of room uh, at all unless you're maybe the Library of Congress or something like that but other than that I mean it gives you enough space to pretty much take notes on anything in addition to unlimited space Microsoft OneNote also gives you some pretty unique tools by which to take notes with um, for instance you can actually 
re record an audio say for instance if you're a student you can actually record an audio uh, like if you're uh, you were in a, a classroom and the teacher was uh, giving a long speech and you really didn't want to stay up for it you can basically turn your microphone well the microphone's already on on most computers but you can hit the record audio button and Microsoft OneNote will begin to record like this is recording me now if we can begin to record the speech um, from your class into a file and embed it right into your OneNote page and then when you hit stop it'll automatically uh, give you play options you can play those options back hey you want to hear me here I go Yeah, that guy's kind of boring. But basically, you'll see that recording audio instantly is from is one of the tool sets of Microsoft OneNote. Uh, in addition to being able to draw into Microsoft OneNote, if you have pretty good penmanship, I actually don't, especially with an optical mouse. I do not. Uh, you can actually record video into Microsoft OneNote using the record video button right here much like the record audio if you record hit the record video button uh, your computer starts to record video from your webcam and it'll drop it will automatically embed a, a video clip into your Microsoft OneNote page and you will have a similar tool set by which to play back the video and check out your work just in case you want to rec record a meeting you can drag and drop pretty much any kind of content into Microsoft OneNote, even pictures. OneNote also has this pretty unique feature where you can create an equation anywhere on the screen just by typing it out. Uh, let's say um, let's say uh, 1600 plus 1450. Hit the equal sign and enter, and Microsoft OneNote automatically calculates that equation for you. That's good for the uh, accountants and financial uh, managers out there. also cool in Microsoft OneNote is its strong search feature this search box right here type in anything in this search box right here and OneNote will search through all of your notebooks files pages and even inside of pictures yes OneNote can read text inside of pictures and if you're a web designer or a graphic designer you know that's a difficult task uh, but OneNote has optical character recognition that allows it to pick up and copy text within a picture. So I'm going to go ahead and do a search for Rico Suave because I have a picture of him uh, that I embedded inside of Microsoft OneNote and there we go. The text is actually inside the picture and OneNote picked up the text and delivered that search result back to me which is pretty cool, pretty cool. Another strong feature of Microsoft OneNote is the its ability to link back to uh, content that you find on the, on the web. If you're an active researcher like myself, then you notice that sometimes you'll find stuff on the web that you want to link back to, and you all weren't supposed to see this. Uh, basically, um, I mean, you know, basically, I'm trying to find a girl, man. I mean, all I got is this computer, man. It ain't it ain't even cute, man. I mean, some of the USBs don't work, and the CD-ROM broke on me, and Give me a minute, y'all. Sorry about that, y'all. I mean, you know, it's hard out here for a geek, man. I mean, like, I mean, we don't have no girls. I mean, all we got is these damn computers, man. And <laughs> give me a minute, y'all. One more. Just one more minute. Sorry for that breakdown, folks. That was so unprofessional. So back to the Microsoft OneNote researching feature, a powerful researching feature. A lot of times when you research something online, you'll basically copy a, a couple paragraphs from an article 
uh, and in many cases you have to re-reference that information because you find that you didn't get all of the information that you needed uh, but a cool feature in Microsoft OneNote is that if you copy something from the web it'll automatically give you a link back to your source so you never lose the source in which you got information from which is a great feature so I'm going to go ahead and copy this particular article from grouptrails.com it's an article about uh, Major Taylor which is basically uh, he was basically uh, a black version of Lance Armstrong uh, that few people know about so I'm going to go ahead and copy the first paragraph of this article and paste it into Microsoft OneNote and what you see here is OneNote gave me a, a link right back to the article so if I ever have to go back and get more information about Major Taylor I can do that with ease there are two more features I like to present to you from Microsoft OneNote before I let you go uh, one of the features is if um, basically Microsoft OneNote auto loads when your computer loads there's a segment of Microsoft OneNote that, that automatically loads when your computer comes on uh, and it's basically for quick uh, reference notes you'll see down here in the lower right corner of your screen if you hover over um, this little N it's, it says Microsoft side note and what side notes are good for are for quick reference notes quick notes like if your boss came up to your desk and asked you to um, take dictation on uh, a subject matter uh, you can hit uh, the shortcut for the side note which is Windows N and a side note pops up and you can type in anything you like and anything you like and you don't even have to save it once you close this note out the note automatically gets saved into Microsoft's OneNote's um, unfiled notes section that you can go into and actually file it in the correct location later but that's a really cool feature you don't have to start the program and wait for it to load I don't know how, how fast some of your computers are um, but you can just hit the windows and the N key and a side note pops up and you can quickly uh, create a note of any type that you like last but not least is a feature that my colleague keeps urging me to tell you about that's the autosave feature tell them about the autosave tell them about the autosave okay so I'm gonna tell you about the autosave basically in Microsoft OneNote you never have to save your content much like an access database which is a running database Microsoft OneNote saves any content that you put into it automatically so for those who may have weak laptop batteries and you know your laptop goes out you will never lose your content and this is a strong feature in Microsoft OneNote in that you never have to hit save well that just about does it folks for my summary of Microsoft OneNote as you can see it's a very powerful tool uh, it's a tool that I use pretty much every day and if you start to use it um, you'll notice that a lot of your ideas will come become more in focus and a lot of your projects will run a little smoother uh, in that you will have all of your content in one location I used to hate searching around for this particular Word file and this particular Excel file but now with Microsoft OneNote I have everything in one location which is an awesome awesome benefit for anyone that's a, um, an organizer planner or even student this is a, 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 a groundbreaking tool uh, and it's surprisingly that it's only about eighty dollars and I think that Microsoft did that because it's not a popular product uh, I imagine in the future it may go up uh, once um, its demand goes up but I would say get on the bandwagon now um, uh, while the project is uh, while the software is kinda cheap uh, you can go to grouptrails.com in the tech section to find shortcuts and read more about Microsoft OneNote uh, and we we'll also have download links uh, to where you can actually purchase OneNote through uh, a link on our website. So that does it for me. I'm Glenn Avery with your Group Trails Tech Minute.